Hi, I'm James Loney here at uh, the high school. I'm an environmental science teacher. And luckily today we are able to join up with the United States Department of Agriculture as they walk us through a study they're doing on our campus to address the spotted lanternfly. So right now what they're testing is some different pesticides that help to control the lanternfly population. And the lanternfly population is really decimating our local crops because it's using a specialized host tree called the Tree of Heaven. Check out. Well, we have, we have different stakes in the ground where we can just I've check. Seen, yeah. Hey, Phil Lewis with the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Uh, we have a research lab in Massachusetts. And we have a, a contractor here who is treating bifenthrin, which is a, a general insecticide to control the spotted lanternfly. So this is a study where we're looking at to, to determine the effectiveness of the compound and for how long. And uh, we've been doing this study since late July and this is the last application for the year. So we're looking at adult lanternflies at this stage. They're all adults at this point, and uh, we're hoping to see that we can find some effective treatments for the insect. Touching it by hand. What is that? That's a lanternfly. Okay. It's washed out. Yeah, he's it's been affected. Out. Hi, I'm Emily Wallace, and I'm a biological science technician with the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Uh, plant protection and quarantine. Here we have four different elements that we are surveying for with this research. We have a circle trap which you secure around the trunk of a tree and you staple it and it has this uh, mesh here and what it does it is it funnels and forces the lantern flies to walk up it and they eventually walk up into this bag and they can't get out. And then we have a, a tub trap here. It's, this is actually a, a basin that is for watering a tree, but we use it to uh, collect spider lanternflies that, that would fall into it, or also if there are any other types of insects. Also, what we have right here is a sampling point. So we will look uh, around this sampling point at a three foot radius and collect all of the spider lantern flies that we find here. These are some of them. I haven't actually done this whole, this whole area yet, but I will divide them into male and female and put into a vial. And we're going to identify those for later as well. And the fourth element that we have, which we can't see right now, is a, a tarp that we lay down. And that's just another surface that we analyze. We look for spotted lanternfly and also any other uh, non-target species that are affected by this. We're looking for a place where there were lanternflies and the tree of heaven, which is their preferred host. This high school was nice enough to give us permission to treat. So we have one treated plot here and then down the hill or by the parking lot, we have an area where we're not treating and we're comparing the two sites. What we want to do is uh, situations where we have trans risks of transport um, through transportation routes, uh, rail lines, um, maybe distribution centers where there's a lot of semis coming in and out, and those properties where they're loading up their trucks maybe have a forested edge and a lot of tree of heaven. This is a very weedy species, very common in Pennsylvania. And so we want to see if we can protect those uh, risks where we're seeing the lanternflies hitchhiking, getting on other vehicles and rail lines and rail cars, and we want to minimize that. So we want to confirm that doing something like this would, would help the situation. Hi, Brian Studer. I'm the AP Environmental Science teacher with James Maloney, and I'm also the lead science teacher for the school district. And uh, as James said, we are really fortunate to watch an investigation by live scientists. Uh, but more importantly, it's really a testament of the way science occurs in the real world. Uh, what we are witnessing is uh, one type of pesticide uh, investigation. Uh, that investigation is happening in multiple sites, not just at the Chamonix. And the goal is to collect enough data to provide evidence to support a claim as to whether that, that particular pesticide is truly the best path to uh, eradicating or mitigating the spotted lanternfly.